All right, so next we're going to create our Blender file that contains our ship. So we go down to the Blender uh, icon and click on Blender. And that's going to bring up uh, Blender 2.71. Uh, that's the version I have, is a later version. Um, just click away from that. We're going to get rid of this cube. Hit the X key and hit the delete on the menu there. Next, we are going to make sure that our cursor is centered. So we hit Shift C. And let's do, let's take it away from the perspective view and hit uh, orthogonal by hitting the numpad five, or in my case, uh, just five on the number row key, right? So that's uh, orthogonal. We'll view it from the front. And I'm gonna pan over, center that a little bit. That's, uh, if you hit shift A, it's going to give us a way to add uh, items there. We'll add the cylinder. And we're going to scale this by hitting the S key. And we're going to scale it along the Z. And if you move your mouse away from the center there, it's going to uh, stretch it out a bit. And I think about that is good. Uh, next, we're going to look at it from the top. What we want to do is we want to flatten it out a little. So let's go in and hit S and scale it along the y-axis. So let's do S, Y, and let's flatten it by making it go towards, by dragging your mouse towards the center. I think that's good enough right there. All right. Next, we're going to, um, <clears throat> we want to um, stretch out the middle or the bottom a little bit. This is going to be uh, one of our engines here. I'm going to hit the tab key. Let's do control seven first and we can do the bottom and hit the tab key to edit. And then um, notice down here, it's an edit mode. And let's do A to deselect everything. And we're going to do face select. So in here, we're going to select, click on this button to do face select and right click using the two uh, two fingers on your trackpad and tap. And <clears throat> we're just going to hit S 1.25 and that's going to give us a little bit of a flare towards the bottom of the ship. We can also, um, I think this is good, good enough for now. Next we'll do another cylinder similar to that and create a couple of engines. And we're going to put um, that engine here. Hit A or Shift A and First, you have to be in object mode. And let's do Shift A and let's add a mesh cylinder. And let us do a similar thing. We'll scale it <clears throat> so it's a little bit smaller. Drag, uh, hit S and drag the mouse towards the middle there. Okay, and then let's, we can grab one of these blue lines to move it or hit G and drag your mouse around so it's around the same spot that you want it to be. Let's view it from the top, make sure it looks okay. Um, I think that's good enough for now. We can do some hollowing out, uh, which I was planning to do, but I think time-wise we won't have that much time, right? Let's do, we can actually duplicate this and do Shift D and move it along the X axis. And we'll just eyeball it here. It is about, it should be about right here. All right, and then, <clears throat> Oops, let's not save it yet. Let's, um, what we need is something to connect the ship to these two engines. And we'll create a cube. And we can do Shift A again and um, add a cube mesh. And this guy. And then we could scale it along the Z axis and hit scale Z, or S, Z, probably 1.5. Actually, let's scale and then just make it smaller like that. Scale along the X, make it longer. Scale along the Z, make it a little bit thinner like that. And then we can move this over here. Okay, and probably make X a little bit smaller. We don't need it that big. Good, and then just, I'll hit G to move it here. And then it looks like we're going to have to center it. Let's hit 7 to be from the top. 
Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Let's scale it along the Y though, make it smaller. Scale along the Y, make it thinner, and that makes it look a little bit better there. And then, ha, that was my timer. That was five minutes. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Let's give it another five. All right, let's go ahead and just copy this cube. We're gonna, uh, you can hit Shift D to copy it and let's move it along the X axis so it sort of stays nice and even. Okay, all right, let's do V from the front and that sort of gives us our basic ship. Um, we can do, <clears throat> We can probably take this cylinder and flare it out, and th these two rockets, uh, and flare it out in the end. But for now, let's pretend that this is good enough. The next thing I need to do is start joining. Um, well, this gives us the basic ship, and this is a good starting point. Let's go ahead and save it, and just call this. Where is this at? Let's put it under. We are documents development and da, 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 da. Swift demos, basic ship demo. And let's put it under the art SEN assets and we'll call it basic ship. Enter, enter, save it. All right. And that is our very, very, very basic ship uh, in Blender. And uh, there's, there'll be another lesson on how to use it within Xcode.